It's the very, um, I would say, uh, identity and even future of the party that's at stake during this race. It's probably the most important race uh, in the history of this relatively young party. It's still months to the finish line, but the race for the leadership of the federal Conservative Party is picking up steam as former Quebec Premier Jean Charest throws his hat into the ring. But new polling suggests that MP Pierre Polyevre is the current front runner. The two come from very different wings of the party, and that contrast is coming to define the Tories. We've seen, especially under Erin O'Toole, um, tensions uh, among different factions. And I think what we see now um, is certainly uh, some candidates uh, who are associated with specific factions. So Pierre Poiliev, more the populist side. Um, we have Leslie Lewis, more the religious uh, conservative side, Jean Charest, the former progressive conservative. The first declared candidate, Pierre Polyevre, is widely seen as the front runner. A strident critic of Justin Trudeau, Polyevre has gained strong support and will be hard to displace. Former Quebec Premier Jean Charest is the first moderate to declare, but support within his home province may not be particularly robust. As a former Quebec Liberal Premier, his baggage may be also too much for some voters to stomach. Well, I think people have mixed feelings about Jean Charest. Uh, uh, people more on the left of the political spectrum, of course, uh, uh, tend to dislike Charest because of what happened with the student strikes a decade ago and so forth. Um, but he has, of course, supporters uh, 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 in the Anglophone, Allophone communities and also among some Federalist Francophones. The Conservative Party has a, has a clear problem you know, how to merge the imperatives of being conservative to its members and also needing to win over moderate pragmatic voters uh, in the big cities and also uh, out in the east. Chaldeans Mensa says appealing to true blue Tories may win the leadership, but the general voting public may prefer a moderate. But no moderate candidate polls above 10% among Tory voters, according to a poll from Leger and the National Post. Mensa also warns against focusing on big names. The party uses a ranked balloting system, meaning someone with enough second place votes could emerge as a compromise candidate. Those second preferences are very important. So if we have a, a, an us versus them, Charest versus a Poliev battle, uh, and we forget potential candidates like Leslie Lewis, she did very well uh, capturing those second place uh, you know, preferences. Uh, so I think this is a very interesting uh, uh, contest to watch. The leadership election happened September 10th with the deadline to register as a candidate in April. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.